This video is going to address and answer the question, how many atoms are in 6 grams of carbon? So I've been given 6 grams. So I'm starting at 6 grams. And it's asking me how many atoms. Atoms is way down here. The only way I can get from mass to atoms is to do a two-step problem. This is a two-step problem to get from grams to atoms. I have to go through Mole City on the Mole map. So to get there, I have to go from mass to moles and then moles to atoms. It says particles here, but that's however it asks you for atoms. It could ask for molecules or particles or pieces. So I'm going to first convert 6 grams into moles. So let's look to see on the mole map how to convert from 6 grams to moles. So to go from grams to moles, from mass to moles, I have to divide by molar mass. Okay. So once again, to go from grams to moles, I have to divide by molar mass. That means I have to look up the molar mass. And the element that it asked me about was carbon. So I look on the periodic table and I find the molar mass of carbon to be 12. It says 12.0107, but we round that to the closest whole number for these problems and that would be 12. So um, back to our problem. How many atoms are in 6 grams of carbon? First I have to change to moles. Okay. So the molar mass of carbon is 12. So 6 grams divided by divided by 12, which is the molar mass, that's off of the periodic table, is 0.5 moles. That's 0.5 moles. Now that I'm at moles, I can do the next step, which, as I know, now that I'm at moles, I follow the mole map to atoms. Since I have moles, I multiply. What do I multiply by? 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. That will get me to atoms. So I had 0.5 times 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. So when I put that in my calculator, you'll notice that I have put that 6 times uh, 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd in parentheses. Um, I always put my scientific notations in parentheses so I don't make a mistake. Uh, usually when you multiply it's not a problem, but it does when you divide. So I'm just going to always do it so that you do it too. So I have 0.5 and then times, and my problem said parentheses, 6.02. 0 0.02 times 10, this little carrot button is to the 23rd, and then I hit the end parentheses. In this calculator, it lets you see that all, um, if I can get the window to show, um, in the window. So I've got my six, I got a bit, the problem before there, but it ends with 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd, and then I hit equals. And you will see that my answer is 3.01 times 10 to the 23rd. So that's my 3.01 times 10 to the 23rd atoms are in 6 grams of carbon. Now, we solved that problem, but let's think logically about it. Um, we could have figured that out, possibly, um, with just a little bit of logic. One mole of carbon is 12 grams because that's what this number up here tells me that I have 12 grams in one mole of carbon but my problem gave me only 6 grams since I had 6 grams that's half of a mole that would equal half of Avogadro's number what is Avogadro's number? Well, 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd, of course, and half of 6 is 3, and half of 0 0.02 is 0 0.01. So half of that is 3.01 
um, times 10 to the 23rd particles. So that would be how would we figure it out if we just wanted to logically think about it.